So Jerry Jarrett has seen it, and, and he says, handsome, man, you've got to have this, you know, because I was real hot there in, in Memphis in 1980, and yeah. uh, so uh, they brought that thing down to me, and I bought it, you know, from yeah. uh, from them, and I drove it for, for years, you know, and uh, I have it here in my museum now, huh. you know, and uh, it's a funny story, but yeah. that, that, that's, how, that's how that, 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 is, very, that is very I funny. talk about that in the book, too. Okay, okay. Uh, that is that is very unique. How uh, how ironic for me to ask that about that scene. About I, I think I will. I think I'll probably write that down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in in the movie Nashville, where the hippie was driving this uh, this uh, real long front end uh, 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 forked uh, uh, with the big flicks on it. It was a um, uh, a three uh, a three wheeler. You know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Exactly. That's <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. That's pretty impressive. I tell you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now back to your interview. Back to talking about you uh, and, and your wrestling career. Uh, I talked. You know, when I asked Greg Valentine, I asked him. You know, uh, uh, any favorite matches? You know that he had. And now I'm going to ask you the same thing. What are your, some of your favorite moments or matches in your legendary career? Okay, you know, well, 10,000 matches, so uh, I'll tell you something. R really, Frankie, you know, I was very fortunate to work with all the, the world champions, you know, uh, from NWA, you know, of course, uh, Harley Race and, and, and uh, Dusty Rhodes, uh, 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 Briscoe Brothers, uh, the Funk Brothers, you know, Dory and Terry, uh, they all were world champions, all wrestled all of them, uh, uh, Ric Flair, you know, uh, and WWF, you know, uh, Bruno San Martino, and and uh, Bob Backlund and uh, Pedro Morales and, uh, uh, you, you know, WWA world champion, uh, you know, Dick the Bruiser and uh, AWA champion, uh, uh, Vern Gagne. And uh, so, so I was fortunate to wrestle. I wrestled Lou Fez, you know, yeah, not, yeah. Not, not, not for his belt while he was champ, but I wrestled him, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, Gene Kaniski, you know, uh, I, I was so fortunate to be around and, and to have that type of caliber uh, pro wrestlers uh, uh, in my in uh, my 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 era, you know, yeah. and I wrestled them all, you know. So uh, really, man, every match, every match, you know, uh, uh, every night, you know, we'd wrestle seven ta seven uh, days a week in the '80s uh, for Crockett. Well, we I would wrestle actually wrestle nine times a week. We'd wrestle uh, uh, once a w once a day, that seven days, and then yeah. on Saturday twice, and Sunday twice. We had a double shot, so so uh, uh, you know, my goodness, uh, I, <laughs> I had ten thousand matches, and uh, hey, they were all good, you know. Okay. Really, I can't. I had the feuds uh, with Ivan Koloff that that yeah. this, it was just uh, phenomenal, you know. Uh, I, I had feuds with Jerry Lawler that uh, you know that, that they still <laughs> talk about in Memphis, and. Um, I had a feud with uh, Paul Jones and his army, you know, yep. uh, for it lasted five years in the, in the, in the eighties, you know, the boogie woogie, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and, uh, so, so, uh, and, and his army he had, uh, uh, superstar Billy Graham, you know, he had uh, Abdullah the Butcher, he, he had, uh, um, uh, Big the Barbarian, you know, yeah. uh, he had Shaska Watley, he had, uh, um, uh, uh, Baron Von Roski, you know, he had all these in his army, and, and, uh, he, uh you know, uh, my goodness, they just, he just <laughs> sent them, uh, night after night, you know, I'd wrestle one or all of them, you know, uh, during the week. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, well, yeah, with 10,000 matches, I'm sure, uh, you've had many, many great memories, anyway. Uh, now, the next thing I'm going to ask you is that we were talking about earlier. Uh, back in 1992, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I think that's when you started the uh, Boogie Woogie uh, rex Wrestling Camp. Yes. And uh, whose idea was that, and how has it been going? It's been going great, and uh, actually, um, it was myself and my wife, uh, Angel's uh, ideal. Uh, I always had that back in my mind, uh, Frankie, because everybody uh, asked, you know, how do you get in this uh, professional wrestling? Yeah. How do you do this? How do you do that? And, and you know, uh, I said to myself, when I finish, when I retire, I'm going to uh, build a camp, you know, and train these kids and... Uh, you know, make their dream come true, you know, like yep. mine has, you know, and, uh, uh, so, so, uh, I really, um, when I, um, uh, in 1989, uh, uh, when, when, when Turner bought, uh, Crackett's out, you know, yeah, it, it was really no, November, yeah. November, I think in 1988, and, and, uh, uh, my, my contract was up, and, uh, uh, I went then from uh, independently, and, and uh, I came here, and uh, uh, we, we found a little uh, 
two acre, uh, uh, you know, a plot here, and it was an old farmhouse on it, and we we redid the farmhouse. I put a fence completely around it, so it's a compound, and and there's nobody can get in, uh, you know, unless one of the main gates are open, you know. Yeah. And on Sunday, the uh, main gates open from 12 to 4, and people come from all over the country, all over the world. Really, we've <laughs> had them, you know, come, and um, they know, and it's just jamming here, man. You know, it's so quiet because we're out in the country, we're out in the valley, you know, mountains all over. <laughs> There's farms. There's a dairy farm a half a mile down, and it's just beautiful. It's, 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 it's a, right across is the Roanoke River. It's the most beautiful place you ever seen, and and uh, it's so quiet here. You know, uh, all week and uh, Sunday, man, is jamming from 12 noon to 4 o'clock. There's cars parked everywhere, and. Uh, Man, you know, that ring is, is being worked over and uh, um, the people just come and enjoy. Um, but, but we did this together. It's something we built and we've been here 15 years now. And, uh, um, you know, again, I want to invite anybody, please, if you ever want to come and enjoy a day and meet me in person and uh, spend a day with us, watch the kids train. We have matches here. And, and what we do is drill from 12 to uh, 2, 2 hours, we drill, we take a break, and we come back with matches. And uh, also, uh, you can enjoy the Museum Hall of Fame. You can see the three-wheeler here, you know, <laughs> in, the, in the automobile uh, sure, uh, museum, sure. yes. But uh, the good thing about this is there's no charge. That, that you, you know, you don't buy a ticket to come to tour yep. to uh, uh, the museum or Hall of Fame or see the matches, nothing. There's no charge. Come in, spend a day with us, and this is what I give back, uh, something that I give back to the wrestling fans. Well, cool. That, that, that is great. Uh, Check I, it out, uh, uh, Frankie. Uh, tell the people. Oh, yeah. JimmyValiant.com, please. And, uh, <clears throat> Everything's there, you know. I mean, hey, you can pick up a book if you like, you know, okay. and uh, that would help out, of course. And and uh, but uh, uh, anything else, man, is it, is all free. Oh, I tell you this. Maybe after we get done with the interview, after I uh, get off the air, maybe we'll uh, maybe you can uh, hold on for a second. I'll give you my address. You can send me some information about it or something like that. Sure. Okay. Be great. Be great. Okay. But I tell them uh, now. Uh, talk about wrestlers and whatnot, and that even wrestlers of today. Have there, since you've been open for over 15 years, uh, or now 15 years, I should say, right. uh, are there, have there any, been any big name wrestlers that have came from the camp that might be on WWE programming? Yeah, well, yeah, what we do, uh, uh, all these kids uh, have had tryouts, not all these kids, but yeah. I've had many kids, you know, uh, had tryouts with WWE, WWF, uh, uh, yeah. you know, when they were there. I take them down. In fact, uh, I just took three kids down uh, three weeks ago. We went into Memphis. Uh, they had a legend uh, uh, with Jerry Lawler and, and okay. uh, the, yes, Bill Dundee and everything. We had a two-day legend thing. One was in Jackson, Tennessee. And the other thing, the next day was in South Haven, Mississippi, which which is just over the line. And and I took uh, three of my kids, you know, from camp here, and uh, they all uh, got to work and got to try out and, uh, you know, work in front of a, a sold-out crowd and to meet all the legends. Jackie Fargo was <laughs> there and, uh, uh, you know, all of the, 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 the Memphis legends, you know, because yeah. uh, years ago it was all regional before the cable, you know, oh, yeah, took yeah. over worldwide. And, uh, 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 you know, Sputnik Monroe was there, man, and, you know, all the legends, and I, I was so pleased that my kids and, uh, oh, man, and Lawler, he was, uh, of course, he's still wrestling, and, yep. and he was in the Battle Royal, and all my <laughs> kids got to tie up with him, man, and, uh, oh, they just loved it, you know, uh, but, um, yeah, yeah, I, I have many kids that uh, come, you know, when, when, uh, when, when I went to, uh, uh, in 1996, uh, um, November, I, I was inducted in the WWE yep. Hall of Fame, and, uh, uh, you know, Vince said, you know, hey, just uh, keep, keep your school, we're turning out these good, uh, you know, prospects, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I send them up, and, and they do different stuff for them, and, and, um, what, what they, what the WWE have, they have their own, uh, uh of course, uh, uh, school. Yeah, the uh, Ohio Valley Wrestling or whatever, I believe. Exactly, it exactly, yeah, mm -hmm. so, 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 uh, uh, you know, but, but everything here, I, there's two different companies that spun off of BWC, uh, up here with me, you know, there's New Age Wrestling okay. and, uh, uh, Bruiser's Wrestling Federation, so my kids, they work every week, you know, uh, yeah. uh you know, uh, at their trade, and of course, uh, uh, it's just like anything else, you know, they got to have a, a, a full-time job. Uh, they come here, train on Sunday, yeah. and then, of course, Friday and Saturday they wrestle. And uh, they, they, they do, they're doing uh, what just like WWE boys doing, okay. you know, only on a smaller scale, sure. but they are professional wrestlers. Okay. 
Well, that's cool. I mean, for 15 years I've been able to do that and whatnot, and and uh, that, that's that's a uh, that's a heck of a lot of people. And I'm sure you've had hundreds upon thousands of people that you've had trained and whatnot, and and uh, more in the future, I suppose. You better believe it. Yes, sir, Frankie. Okay. And now that you know you were talking about your book, and now I'm finally going to ask you about your book. Uh, uh, you wrote a book, and now how does it feel to now to have your entire life or bits and pieces of it or whatever you put out? I, I never. Got a chance to read it yet, but I'm sure you'll come my way here soon. Uh, have it, your entire life on paper for others to read and enjoy. What's it's it? great. It's great. You know, uh, it's 566 pages. <laughs> Holy moly. Big book, uh, hardback. You know, okay. it weighs yep. three pounds, man. You mm -hmm. know, uh, you could work out with it. If you get two of them, you <laughs> could do curls, you know, and uh, sure. do some uh, yeah, bench presses with them. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, it's called. Woo!